hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video in this video we are going through the whole process of how to set up multi theft auto on your pc for san andreas 1.0 make sure you have san andreas 1.0 installed in your pc and it's working perfectly otherwise you might not be able to run the game so uh, first uh, you need to go on multi theft auto.com link can be found in the description as always so you just need to go to this page once you are on here you just need to click on the download button right here in the middle and uh, once the download has been started you just need to wait for it to finish it's a uh, 100 mb for the launcher and one more thing i want to tell you guys that every server have different sizes so you might need to download like around 100 uh, 100 mbps to uh, 1 gb of data for different servers you know so once it's downloaded you just need to run it then now it will ask you for uh, language if you want to change it you can i'm just gonna go with the english for this setup okay so now we just need to hit okay and now uh, it's unpacking the data for the launcher so it will take some time just uh, wait for a little bit it will happen eventually like it will eventually complete it now it's done okay so now you just need to hit next on this page then it will ask for admin permission you just need to click yes on that and then again it will start uh, you know unpacking some more data now you just need to wait for uh, for it a little bit and uh, once it, it's done it will ask you for uh, accepting the license agreement you need to click on i agree and now it will ask you for like a lot of different options right here you can just uh, remove the start menu group i personally don't like it register mta protocol add game explorer i don't want to install directx because i already have it if you don't have directx installed make sure to check this marker so i already have it so i uncheck it so also next thing i'm gonna do i'm just gonna install game client i don't need dedicated server because i'm not running any mta server personally so i don't need all these so i'm just gonna remove that and we don't need development module sdk since we are not uh, creating mode we are just players for playing the game okay so now you need to click next now it will ask you to choose the folder where MTA can be installed. Now it's up to you if you want to like default location where which I'm going to use. Otherwise you can set a custom location for yourself. Like anywhere in your PC it's up to you. So I'm just gonna go with the default and uh, we choose default and then click next. Okay now it will ask you for the location of your GTS in India. Most of the time it will detect that automatically. As you can see it's right at D games slash GTS in India. So if not then just click on browse. Then you just need to browse the GTS and this folder wherever it's installed on your PC and make sure it doesn't have any mods installed. Otherwise, you might get crashes randomly. So I suggest just use a clean GTA without any mods, without any clutter, nothing. Okay, so now once you select the folder, you just need to click on install. And now it's installing right now. And then as you can see, it's uh, checking for permissions and things. Now it will be done in no time. Done. And now you can, if you want, you can run the MTA directly. Otherwise, you just need to uncheck this marker and then click on finish. So now we have successfully installed MTA in our PC. And there's an icon right here. So you can just hit it, double click it, and then it will start running MTA. So it takes some time for the first run. So don't worry if it looks like you are stuck on this page for like for a really long time. Now, I'm getting this. The reason for that is because I have a dual monitor setup. So that's why I'm getting this screen. You won't get it if you have a single monitor, the game will start automatically. So if for those who have dual monitor, you just need to choose your primary monitor, the resolution, which is 1080p for me, and then click on OK. Now the game is running. It says San Andreas, but don't worry. Here it is. MTA right here. I don't know if you guys are able to see it. Yeah, there you go. Now you are probably able to see it. So uh, if you want to like change setting, now I'm going going through some basic settings. First of all, make sure to change your name right here. It's up to you what you want to change. Like I want my name to be this. So I'm just going to change this. This is not my real name, of course. And also you can save server password. So you don't have to like, you know, go through everything. But for some reason, it's not letting me. So uh, let's skip that. Or you can also click this always show download window so what this thing do this thing always show a download window whenever some resources will be downloaded in the game you will see a pop-up downside of your screen saying that yeah this mb is downloaded out of that mb so it's basically that next we we need to go to video make sure your resolution is native of your uh, desktop full screen mode i personally like this borderless window 
that's what i use fov don't don't change it brightness let it be default fx quality i personally set very high it's up to you whatever kind of pc is you can just set it accordingly next anti aliasing it's up to you i personally set it on 3x expect ratio is up to you well i just leave it on auto that will be much better for you guys and then you can also enable these high quality details and stuff now th this whole thing is pc to pc so uh, make sure uh, test everything first then allow it you know otherwise it might get laggy a little bit okay so next thing is audio don't change anything except i personally uh, just turn down the radio volume also make sure the empty volume is little bit lower and the voice volume is 50 percent otherwise if you are playing on any voice enabled server and this thing is set on 100 percent you will probably hurt hurt someone's ears man so don't change it key binding it's let it on on default controls if you want to change something i personally don't really change anything here except the mouse sensitivity it's up to you whatever you like this is a personal preference interface right here interface i didn't change anything it's same as it is web browser you don't need to change it advanced setting fast cj cloth loading up to you it's ice it's, it's set on auto web. everything is on default actually so i don't really change anything here except the stream memory if you are getting lags you can turn it down to low minimum the stream memory is basically how the world loads and then you just need to click ok now it's done you can restart the launcher if you want afterwards you can just go on server browser if you have a server ip you can type it right here like i personally have a server so if i need to like add an ip or something i can do that here if for example let's let's choose this and once you add an ip you need to if you want to like add a server on favorite what do you need to do you just need to you see there's a red heart right here you just need to click on it now when it's highlighted you can just go on the favorite tab and you can see empty official beta server is now on my favorite list so that's it for the video guys i hope this helped you out i hope you guys will enjoy mta and uh, i'm gonna see you guys in the next one